Hey, it's for Shishtar here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot and then edit, save it, and then share it as well on your iPad Air. This is the Air 5th generation, but this method will work on any of the newer iPads that you have. So let's get started. So to, in order to take a screenshot, it's really simple. All you do is press the top and the volume up button at the same time. So you have the top button right here and the volume up button. You're going to press it together at the same time. So when you press it together, it takes a screenshot. And once you have a screenshot, you can click on it. And once you have that, you can go ahead and edit it by doing this. And then you can also have these set of tools over here that allow you to do different editing as you like, modification, whatever it may be. And once you're ready, you can now click on that arrow up top here, which will allow you to either share it through one of the options here, like uh, mail or any other way you want to share. You can print it and all that. You can save it to a file. Uh, and then if you're once you're done, you hit that done option on the right hand corner. It will ask you to uh, select the option if you didn't. For your first option is saving it to photos or saving it to files, or you can copy and delete or just simply delete if you need to do another one. So we hit that save button and it saves it to our photos app. So if you go back and locate your photos app, you'll be able to see that the screenshot here was saved to our photos app right there again it's really simple you want to locate the top two button here on this side just to give you from at this angle the, the top button and the volume up button at the same time just like this and you hear that noise and you don't do a screenshot simple as that when you swipe it up it'll save up and save it to your photos so hopefully this quick little video was helpful if so please make that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys in next time